Ambulance and other emergency services are so important in so many towns, and a new EMS station is being built in the town of Webster. This project in the making since 2005, and it is now inching closer and closer to completion. Eric Cost has more. The director of Webster EMS says this new station is all about comfort for current employees. He says the industry has been struggling with staffing and employee retention for years now, made worse by the pandemic. This, he says, is an effort to solve that. The EMS industry is one of many struggling from the pandemic. Employees are not staying around, roles not getting filled. That's according to Saeed Ahmad Mustafa, who says his team in Webster has been struggling for a while now. As an industry, we are losing people left and right. People are just saying that I'm afraid of COVID, I, the work is too hard, the uh, reimbursement is too low, you know, payment is too low. And so it's a hard thing to get people to come. Comfort for employees is a big factor as well. He says for years, his staff have shared their quarters with local fire departments without a place to cook, sleep, or even host community events. The ambulance is their office. You want a place to be able to come back and have a meal, do your patient care reports in a, a nice, calm environment. In a few months, the team will have the quarters Mustafa says they deserve. They're getting this brand new station. And in the training room, it's actually got in the back a kitchenette. Places to rest, a day room, office space, and training room. While the project has been years in the making, its completion coming at a time where the industry is facing roadblocks. Mustafa says it's important people see the work being done to solve it, and maybe they'll consider getting a job here. EMS, EMT, and paramedic classes are not full. And when, you know, other uh, first response agencies recruit, they're literally taking people right out of the classes and we're losing them all together. The station will be fully developed by mid-August. The building dedication is set for this fall with the village's 20th anniversary for 9-11. In Webster, Erica Cost, News 8. All right, Christian Gary.